So hello and welcome to this first patch video with the SSF stereo dipole. Now, I wanted to do something right away that I had in mind when I first saw this module announced back at Superbooth last year, 2018 Superbooth, which is to turn it into a quad oscillator. Knowing that this is a stereo filter, but it's got two peaks per side, so four potential oscillating peaks, and it will self-oscillate, I thought this could be a nice chord generator with a ton of interesting control when used as such. So here it is as four peaks, creating some nice, kind of more driven, distorted feedback bass tones. I can mute all this out. Let's go back to these quad peaks. I've got some cross mod and some actual feedback on that mutes module. Just an easy way to bring that out rather than pulling in cables in and out all the time. So let's kind of cancel out the patch and work backwards. That was going through another filter, just used as a low pass gate, fairly low resonance, low pass filter and an envelope to it, as well as some delay. And I'm coming out of this main AB output to the scope and then that's what's being recorded. Losing the Volt Proctive sequence for now. Some really nice kind of like soft clip distortion type bass tones. But also chord tones, if I just tune this up a bit. I can tune. Tune up a nice chord tone. And then these two switches are bringing in feedback to the FM. It's just attenuated, so it's just a soft bit of cross mod going on. These two switches bring outputs that I'm not using back into the actual inputs to the filter. Which serve as a nice kind of distortion. So cancelling that out, let's just kind of tune up a chord again from scratch. There's our kind of bass frequency. First interval, and then using the extra peak on this side. peak to create a chord tone. Now a little bit of that cross mod FM just gives it some hair. Actual feedback taking outputs back to inputs even though there currently isn't an input this is just an oscillating filter. It's really nice, brutal, kind of distorted patch. Adding the pitch sequencing. taking this into a low pass filter with an envelope to that filter and some delay. All of a sudden the stereo dipole is a chord generator for sine wave oscillator distortion feedback weird oscillator thing. And it's just a fun patch and the first thing that I actually wanted to try and film as soon as this went in the case. A full demo is coming soon. Feel free to leave a comment of anything specific you'd like to see from the dipole. I may be able to include it in the video. Just watching. Support me on patreon.com forward slash divkid. Have a nice day.